Hello, this activity is so powerful, it qualifies as an LCL, a life-changing lesson. I layer a few hooks into this lesson, too many to develop in this video. The class begins with a mystery box in the front of the room. I utilize the taboo hook to draw students into the activity. Eventually, I ask for a volunteer, and the volunteer student comes to the front of the room, stands on the side, and removes his or her shoes. This is David. We'll use him as an example. I ask David if I can blindfold him. Once David is blindfolded, I firmly ask that he stand still. Carefully, I begin pulling items out of the mystery box one at a time, and I lay the items on the floor. After revealing the items, the floor is littered with scissors and mouse traps and a few other things. The activity unfolds with the class verbally directing David from one side of the room to the other, carefully commanding him around the dangerous obstacles on the floor. Of course, I stand beside David and protect him from the harm leading him around the obstacles, or even kicking obstacles out of the way. The whole time, the class is yelling directions, some good directions and some bad. When David reaches the other side of the room, I remove the blindfold, and the class applauds their success. In the following minutes of class, I facilitate this powerful conversation that asks the students to consider the roles of each party in the illustration they just saw. If this illustration represents this school year, I want you to consider each party and who they represent. So who does David represent in this illustration? That's right, David represents you. And how about the scissors on the floor or the mouse traps? Who do they represent? Well, well, they represent obstacles that lay in the path of students this coming year. And I ask students to be specific. I say, what obstacles? What are those obstacles? What about the classmates in their desks? Who do they represent? The ones yelling out the directions during the illustrations. My friends, the guys on my football team, my classmates, people I sit with at lunch. That's right, I agree. They represent all those people, all those voices in our lives that influence us to move left, move right, back up, go forward. Who does Mr. Oldfield represent in this illustration? Now, this one is tough, and I typically have to scaffold this a bit. Students will actually mention the same individuals they mentioned before. But let's think about this. Who was closer to the volunteer during the illustration? Who is closer to you in your life? The class gets quiet as students begin to think about those people in their lives that may or may not be supporting them in their journey. In fact, in this moment, you'll recognize which students don't have that person in their life. Some students don't. And this is my moment to tell my kids something I have learned about teaching. I don't have a shot at reaching their minds unless I reach their heart. If you don't have a person in your life that walks beside you, then I'll be that person. I'll kick some of those obstacles out of your way and I'll help direct you. Other teachers are in the same building. will do the same thing. This is a powerful experience that I unleash on day three.